Hi guys, well as you can see I've been busy. I've been uh, browsing online to see if I can find a way to uh, control the cadence operation uh, or at the very least the cruise control operation of our e-bike using um, an Arduino. And the reason for that is because I want to be able to use uh, buttons to turn the speed up and down and turn it off and basically make it nice and simple to control. Trying to control it from a potentiometer could be done but it's not really it's not really very good. So what I've done is or what I've found is I found this little website which um, is showing a variable power supply uh, driven by an Arduino. Now, as you can see, the um, the display is one of these type of displays. Now, when I first got when I first found this uh, website, I didn't have one of those. I had one of these, uh, which is a Nokia five one one zero display, I believe, something like that. You can, they're very cheap to buy online. You can get them for a couple of pounds. So um, I spent a bit of time trying to figure out a way of adjusting the um, the circuit diagram for this to to match my Nokia, and I managed to get that working. Then, of course, uh, a couple of these arrived, which I'd ordered, and I tried to get this to work, and I couldn't. Now, I'm not sure whether it's because um, th this circuit diagram is also for uh, on the online system is also for an Arduino Uno and I'm using an Arduino Nano so I'm not sure if that's what the issue was um, it could well be I've managed to figure out a way of getting uh, I found another um, another uh, website online explaining how to get the one of these Nokia um, Displays going, so I just basically copied some from some from one of the um, from one of the websites and some from the other. If I scroll down here, if I can, right uh, as you can see, there's the circuit diagram that I've got a, a picture of here, and if you go on down, it actually gives you the the full code that you have to put in. Um, to get this to work as a uh, a voltage uh, power supply, variable power supply from 1 to 5 volts and of course 1 to 5 volts is exactly what we want so what happens if I push this button here is if you watch that voltage it should be starting to go up and if I push the other button the voltage should start to go down. Now, at the moment, it's still very messy. The um, the, volt, the voltage is jumping around. <coughs> I think that's because I'm not using an external um, voltage supply for this. I haven't even included this part of the circuit at all. So um, I think if I was able to get that included in this, it would probably work fine. But this is the uh, the first stage, hopefully, or the not the first stage, but this is the uh, first sign that um, a cruise control for this uh, e-bike is certainly very possible. Because if you watch that, if I push the button, as you can see the voltage going up, and as I said in the last video, once you get to around about 1.2 volts. The other pushing the other button now for it to go down. Once you get to about 1.2 volts, the the motor starts to spin very very slowly, and then as you increase the voltage, it goes up. So we're making progress, baby steps as always. Um, it took me two days to get this working. So um, next step is to transfer all this onto um, uh, a little circuit board. Um, Vero board or something like that and try and get it soldered in properly try and get a proper external 5 volt uh, power source uh, rather than just the USB of the, the uh, computer put in all of that um, circuitry there 
and hopefully we'll have a nice stable voltage displaying on here um, and once we've got a stable voltage displaying we can then start trying to work it out um, work out exactly how many volts is required for each speed set up maybe 10 different speeds if I know the exact voltage is needed then it can work out a way in the Arduino to have uh, numbers 1 to 10 instead of just displaying the voltage uh, but like I said baby steps we're getting there slowly um, and this seems to be quite uh, promising um, I was a bit disappointed I couldn't get this display to work. Uh, it would have made life a whole lot simpler if I could have done, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm not that worried. This is a lot bigger than the than the, the uh, 510 display, although I don't think... I think this is probably a stronger display, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we've got a working display. We've got a working voltage uh, adjustment using those buttons, and well, hopefully next thing we'll, like I say, get it um, built up properly and get it on the bike and see if it works. So anyway, that'll do for now. And hopefully, um, hopefully I haven't bored you too much. <laughs> Bye for now.